In this video, let's modify a drop structure design and check results to see if it's in pipe control or weir control. Here we have a simple pond design model, and we're ready to begin executing simulations. Once complete, I'm ready to check the results to make sure that my pond and outfall structures were designed correctly. Here I'm checking the maximum total inflow that reached the downstream boundary node. This 5.02 CFS is much lower than I expected, so I know that I need to go back and tweak my design. The design includes an outfall structure that was modeled using a drop structure link to discharge water from the pond node. I'm going to increase the weir significantly from only a 1 foot width up to a 5 foot width to illustrate the difference in the results. I'll execute the simulations to override the original results, and again I'll open the 1D node max report. Here you see that the total inflow has barely increased even though I've greatly increased the weir size. This was not expected, and I need to go back to check my design. Whenever results show a consistent maximum flow for a drop structure link despite increases in the weir opening, this generally indicates that the pipe is controlling the flow through the link. To verify that my drop structure is under pipe control, I'll open the data form and restore the one foot weir opening. Then I'll click on the Pipe Component tab to try increasing the pipe size from 1 foot up to 2.5 feet. Now when I execute the simulation and view the results, I see a much higher total inflow that meets my design goal. Another way to confirm when the pipe is limiting flow through the drop structure link is to use the Profile Animation tool. On the right, you see our profile animation tool for the scenario that we just worked through with the pipe properly sized. Flood stages in the upstream pond reach elevation 104. The pipe is flowing full, but it does not appear to be limiting flow. On the right hand side, you see the original design before our modifications. Notice that the pond is staging up higher than on the left, and the HGL in the upstream end of the pipe is also very high. This profile indicates that the pipe is likely undersized.